Welcome back to the show. My first guest, Bonnie Raitt, a highly respected, highly regarded interpreter of blues, rhythm and blues, and rock music. For more than a decade, she's provided loyal fans with her special blend of gutsy music. She's just released her eighth album entitled Green Light, which may well push her into the star spotlight. Many feel as long overdue. I know I do. Will you please welcome, <laughs> singing Me and the Boys, Bonnie Raitt. Tells us how to drive me and the boys Besides me and the boys That, uh, that's very nice. Quite nice. Subtle. Yeah, no. It's, it's, <laughs> let me, uh, let me, uh, do you mind if I uh, ask you a couple of questions here off the introduction? It's probably a good idea. Okay. <laughs> rhythm and blues and blues. What's, what's the difference? Let's start out with rhythm, rhythm and blues. Rhythm and grief is more like that. Um, you want to start out with the rhythm or the... No, rhythm and blues. How is that different from blues? Well, I think, I guess the rhythm makes it a lot more fun when you're unhappy, you know? Yeah. I don't know, rhythm and blues is just uh, probably just a, when the 40s when blues used to just be uh, started out when at times was woeful back in the 20s mm -hmm. and just as it became more urbanized it was just 
Debbie Gay called it rhythm and blues. Okay. Very uh, rhythmic music. I have, I have other questions I'm going to ask <laughs> you. We're going to pause here, is that correct? We'll be right back with Bonnie Raitt, folks. <laughs> Bonnie Raitt. Bonnie Raitt is here with us. Bonnie Raitt and the Bump Band. Yes, we have members of the Bump Band here. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, let me ask you. Let <laughs> uh, uh, me ask you something. Is this now? You may not want to ask, answer this. Uh, I don't know if I would or not. Is it true that you at one time dated uh, Jerry Lewis's son? Oh my God! Where'd you hear that? Yes, I, it's true. It is true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he put his Saint Christopher around my neck, and we were. Which one was this? Ronnie, the one that was uh, the blonde one. Oh, I don't, I don't, don't, I don't know them by hair color. I'm sorry. He was. Oh, no, I was. I was. <laughs> there's only one blonde. It was. Uh, I was only. 13 at uh -huh. the time. But he wasn't, I was thinking it wasn't the... It wasn't I want to know the, where you got this info. I, somebody mentioned that to me. But it, it wasn't the guy of the Playmates. No, no. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was too young. That must have been exciting, though. Jerry Lewis. Oh. Just... It was, <laughs> a couple of years later would have been much better, actually. Uh, let me... Now, you're... Uh, you're <laughs> uh, now, the band is making that noise, and I don't know why they're making it, and I don't know what it means, and I don't care. Um, now, uh, your father is uh, John Wright, mm -hmm. Broadway personified, uh -huh. and I would guess you grew up in a uh, rather well-off situation. How is it that you became such a strong proponent of the blues, upper middle class youngster and the blues? Well, I mean, poor people don't have any corner on pain, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, neither do. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. I mean, that whole thing in the 60s when... I, there was a blues revival in the 60s when the folk music scare came out, and uh, <laughs> they rediscovered a bunch of old Delta blues singers and brought them up to the Newport Folk Festivals. And I was a uh, little miniature Judy Collins at the time, uh, trying to suck my cheeks in like Joan Baez, and uh -huh. never made it. Um, and I heard blues records. I always liked rhythm and blues, as going back to your yeah. phrase there. Uh, I liked soul music as opposed to kind of white pop music. Uh -huh. And to me, the, the, the distinctions between blues and rhythm and blues and rock and roll really are, uh, you know, I don't, I don't make this kind of distinctions. I just, it's just, it's like, why does one kid like math and one kid like English? Well, right? yeah, but you mentioned, you said that uh, poor people didn't have a corner oh, on yeah, pain. Did right, you have a lot of pain that. other than uh, well, dating Jerry Lewis's son? <laughs> <laughs> that, um, well, blues is, blues is basically about, uh, I mean, whenever you're unhappy, you do it because it makes you feel better. Yeah. You do things to make you feel better, <laughs> sure. But, uh, plan, but rock and roll and blues, I mean, the whole spirit of it is, is about men and women and problems you have. And, yeah. I've definitely had not my share of problems. Um. But what we heard there is more, well, again, you said you're not... You it's know, a little happier yeah, music. It's yeah. more rock and roll, I guess they call it, huh? Uh, tell us about your, and oh, gee, I hate to do this to you because we're just out of time. We, you brought Sippy Wallace here with you, uh, and you're coming up on your 10th uh, anniversary of your association. Uh-huh. And I guess we're going to unfortunately have to talk about this. Yeah, as a matter of fact, well, I don't know why we're talking about her behind her back. She's here. Uh, we'll bring her out. Uh, we have to pause again. Sippy Wallace will join us. And uh, she and I were discussing uh, Sippy Wallace, who has now joined us. Why don't you tell uh, America, if they don't already know, uh, why this woman is an important figure in, in American music? Well, this, my friends, is Miss Sippy Wallace, one of the greatest blues and jazz singers this country's produced. And she's cute, too. Um, Sippy was uh, one of the original blues shouters and jazz singers back in the 20s during the time of Bessie Smith and Ma Rainey wrote some terrific songs and in fact I didn't even know she was still alive because most of the great blues performers have passed on and uh, back in that uh, ten years ago I found a record in London where they appreciate blues more than in America ironically <laughs> and uh, found out that Sippy was in fact alive and living in Detroit and we met back in 1972 and performed at the Ann Arbor Blues and Jazz Festival yeah. and now at 83 she's debuting her new Atlantic album finally <laughs> zooming up the show. Uh, 
<laughs> Sippy, you actually, you retired for a time. Didn't you? You quit singing or quit performing or quit recording or all three? But I didn't retire. I just took sick. Uh-huh. And, and my brother didn't, uh, my brother wouldn't tell where I was. Mm-hmm. Because he thought that, that I wasn't going to use his songs, you know. And so when the OK people kept uh, singing for me, well, my brother George Thomas, he never did tell me. So I just thought it didn't want me. Oh. Yeah, and you said the OK people, is that what you said? Yeah, OK. That was a record, that's record yeah. company. Yeah. And I thought it didn't want me. And come the whole day was looking for me. I stayed, stayed not knowing they wanted me for mm -hmm. a long time. Yeah. And during that time, I was sick. And when I got able, I didn't even try to find them, you know, because I didn't think they wanted me. Yeah. Well, the whole blues records thing, when the, when the Depression hit and the war, the blues, well, they were called race records at the time, but blues records kind of bit the dust until uh, recently, and hopefully there's going to be a little bit of a revival. Right? It's a, a thrill for uh, us to have you here, Sippy, and you're the first guest we've ever had drinking a beer. Well... <laughs> Pause. We'll be right back, and Bonnie Raitt and Sippy Wallace will be performing together. <laughs> very excited tonight. Uh, I think this may be a network first. Singing great Sippy Wallace, whom you've met, and of course Bonnie Raitt, who you also met, uh, along with Dr. John on piano tonight, performing their duet from their new album entitled Sippy, of which I have a, co a copy right here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the three of them, Bonnie Raitt, Sippy Wallace, and Dr. John on the piano, women be wise. <laughs> Don't ever sit around holding no conversation. Explain what the good man really can do. Cause these women nowadays, they ain't no good. They laugh in your face, then they try to steal the old man from you. Women be wise. Keep your mouth shut. Don't ever try. girlfriend might look like a highbrow she's got to change about three times a day tell him by bye what do you think she's doing now while you're so far away yes, sir. i believe she's in love Sippy. Yes, sir. Try to investigate your head. You got to be wise. Keep your mouth shut. Don't advertise your man. Don't be a fool. Don't advertise your man. Rain. 
what a good man can do. Pause. We'll be right back to take a look at some new international symbols. 